Okay everyone, this is a little test ride I thought I'd publish. This is genuinely the first time I've been out on this. Um, it is a little bit scary, <laughs> not gonna lie. Gonna get some very funny looks. Um, and yeah, this is the first time I've ever ridden on motorbike tyres. So, uh, now I've got the vest connected up. So let's just pull in here, let these geezers go past. And uh, now as it's running on the vest, it's running sensorless, not censored. So it's not, the pickup's not very good. Uh, which, oh, let's go straight on. Um, but at least it's moving. Um, nothing's broken. Uh, got the front brake attached. Um, so yeah, just testing the uh, suspension and wheels really, because that's obviously the latest things I've added. Taking it very easy. I don't know if you can actually hear me because it's so windy. Bits of road getting chucked up everywhere. <laughs> okay, so let's go over some bumps. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, you can really feel that front suspension working. Rear one definitely needs new shock. I'm thinking of getting the um, DNM burner RCP2S. Uh, I'm still debating whether to get the 200 mil or the 220 mil version. Um, I've heard some people say the 220 is a little bit long, um, but we'll see. Let's just pull in and have a little check. Oh, squeaky brakes. So yeah. Those tyres, well, passing very well. Suspension, let's just reset it and see how much kind of something, how far, how far it goes down basically. Uh, my cycle analyst, which you might be able to see, uh, isn't actually working. The display's all gone a bit weird. Now this is the only downside, or big downside with having um, double crown is that you don't get much lock. Yeah, I built it myself. I'm just giving it a little test ride. Do you want to come have a look? Um, yeah. It's obviously not done yet. All the wires hanging out the bottom, but um. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. Oh yeah, it's a right old Heath Robinson. Yeah, yeah. But it's going to be kind of like one, two, five CC kind of spec. Um. I still have someone interested in it. <laughs> so yeah, so as I was saying, the lock isn't incredible. Um, but you know, it's more than enough for kind of getting around roads and stuff. It's just um, any kind of maneuvering that might be a little bit um, on the tough side. Now one thing I can definitely notice is how much stickier these tyres are compared to like uh, mountain bike tyres. I'm kind of having to put in a lot more effort to actually like steer it. Um, Obviously this is kind of pretty low speed, so there's not much counter steering or anything involved. Um, but let's keep it low speed for now. <laughs> Even this vest, I'm still pretty impressed. It's very smooth. Gosh, that was good, that suspension. Wow. And obviously glad that the motor's working fine. So I'm trying to remember, I think it's running about one and a half kilowatts at the moment. So yeah, nothing insane at all. Uh, but it does the job, it can, fight the wind. Need to adjust that mirror. Yeah, really impressed. And I've got loads of adjustment on this top shock as well, especially in terms of like um, preload, rebound, I've got an air intake to um, just adjust the whole feed of it really. So yeah, the geometry of this bike is all weird at the moment because it's got really long forks and a really tiny shock on it basically. Um, but that will be sorted out in due course. I'm hopefully going to get a Sabaton in the next few weeks, a different one. Because uh, those of you who have been watching my channel will know I managed to damage my old one. Uh, but it gives me a chance to get the one I really want which has the um, regen brake. Uh, input as well as a 10% of input for the motor. Um, 
Now I've been thinking about how I'm going to do the regen and I think what I'm going to do is have a secondary twist grip throttle on, let's just pull in here. Um, right on like here, um, but I was going to have a thumb throttle but when you actually think about it, you've got the switches here, the mirrors, you're going to be reaching across pretty far. Um, that's going to be quite hard in most cycle gloves. So yeah, I think that's the way I'm going to go. Um, but yeah, it's still going to be the um, sabotage. See, this is what I mean about the lock. Are we going to make it? Oh, that was tight. As you saw, the only thing that's rubbing is just the little um, kind of whiskers that come on the tyres from the factory. Um, on the, I can't remember, on the stanchions, I think, or the guards. Apart from that, can't hear any funny noises. Seems good to me. Everything nice and smooth. I have to experiment with tyre pressures and all that. Um, it feels quite good though, 25 psi, to be honest. Let's just turn around here and then go back. I'd rather try and turn around. <laughs> yeah, nice and grippy. Not weight's not an issue for this bike, even over some big bumps. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. All right. That'll do for today, let's go back. Oh yeah, and there you can see how much of the blue strips gone down, not like barely an inch, and that was going over some fairly nasty bumps. Obviously it'd be more at high speed, but yeah.